Hi everybody, happy Sunday night. I am pulling some sales in preparation for a very big week. We are getting ready to travel soon and my son is going back to college. This is not working. So I'm trying to get ahead of the curve here. Um, Tina's coming tomorrow. So let's jump right in. These loft shorts, um, I'm getting ready to an accept to accept an offer on eBay. I have them listed for $25. I got a $17 offer. Really cute. All right, also same bin. I'm not gonna deal with these <laughs> this lids again. Uh, this is a little disappointing. I am going to accept this offer because it's the end of the season and I've had these for a long time. But I had always heard that these Pataloha shorts, which is Patagonia, um, the Pataloha from Hawaii, I thought these were so cool. And I think that was my first time finding them and I had high hopes. I've had these listed for $38. I got an $18 offer and I think I'm just going to take it. End of summer, these have been around for months. So I am going to accept that offer as well. This next sale was on eBay as well. I almost don't even want to share these sales with you yet because um, I still haven't done a video. But this Physoderm vintage bottle, um, I bought this at an estate sale last week. I sold the Gina Tay bottle for uh, talc powder for $24.99. This sold for $49.99, full asking. How crazy. This, this fascinates me. So very excited for this video. I'm going to do a little bit more research on vintage beauty products. The last one was sent to California. I do believe that a lot of these are purchased for movie sets and um, both of them were sold for full asking. So people aren't messing around, they're just buying them. So $49, I paid 33 cents for that. This is the last sale on eBay and then I will shift into Poshmark sales. Um, trying to think of where I got this. Oh gosh, this is in better condition than I thought it was. This is a vintage coach bag. I just accepted a $75 offer on eBay. This is gorgeous. My goodness. It definitely shows a little bit of wear, but it's really gorgeous. It's this ox blood. I think the corners, it actually looks like it's showing more wear than there even is. Um, this is a great deal for a vintage piece of coach. Um, I had it listed at 150. I accepted a 50% off offer. Really trying to move things and I'm aiming for that 150 number as far as how many sales I made this month. I'm going away at the end of the month, so I'm really going to push. I sent out 40% off offers on my Poshmark closet this morning for anything that was or that has been in my closet for 60 days or more with discounted shipping of $5.95. So a lot of the sales that you're gonna see right now are from that sale. I believe this video is going to post later in the week, but these are weekend sales for the weekend of August 20th. Oh, I think this is it, okay. Uh, this is a La Perla dress. I had it priced at $99. I sent out offers for 64 with discounted shipping. Somebody countered at 50. I accepted. La Perla is a great brand. It can really go for a lot, a lot of money. This I think retailed for some insane amount, like $600 or something, but um, this was still a great profit for me. And we are moving things out. So that just sold. I think my sales today between Poshmark and eBay, this I think just made my Poshmark sales 340 and then I've done about 125 on eBay. So shooting for about 500 in sales on this Sunday. All right, next up is this new with tag smart wool sweater. Um, I have that I paid $20 for this in my notes. It's really beautiful. I think it's called the Decono sweater. Um, I had it listed for 100 and I sent out, no, it must have been listed for more than that because the 40% off was $71 with discounted shipping. Still a good profit, even with the $20 buy-in. Happy that that's moving because my sweaters are overflowing always. I'm so excited for Tina to come to work tomorrow because I don't have a single thing on the floor and I dusted and cleaned. I'm so excited and I just sold two pairs of shoes. One was, I believe this pair of Eileen Fisher. These sold for $37. These were part of the 60%, I believe. And that freed up a box, which means I will be able to pull another pair of shoes and put them in the shoe boxes. These are the boxes that we've been going through. My husband and I tore up the rug today to see if there was any mold under here, which there was not. Um, we lifted this whole rug up 
because that's where um, the water damage came through, which prompted my whole meltdown when I did my video where I just had enough and I started to downsize. So these are the boxes that will go back into that closet. If you ha aren't following along, I have a new series called Slow Fashion Friday. We'll plug for it here every Friday. I am sharing with you kind of an ante haul where I go through a corner of my house and a corner of my business and purge items I don't need. We've been working on the shoes for the business end. That has been a great exercise for me every week, peeling back. The only thing I am not purging are my fountain pans. I seem to be buying more and more of those. Luckily, they don't take up much space. This is an outfit that sold so quickly and was featured in my Slow Fashion Friday video. This is an absolutely stunning two-piece outfit from Lily Pulitzer that belonged to Angelina. I don't think she ever wore the entire outfit together, which is a shame because it was beautiful on her. She wore the top with like a denim skirt and I don't think she ever wore the bottom because this is new with tag. Um, so I put Barbie in my uh, title because this is like the perfect Barbie outfit. I will show you a picture of the stock photo. It's adorable. Anyways, I listed this for... I think I had it priced at $150 or $160. It sold for $136 with discounted shipping, and it sold in like 48 hours. It went really fast. Next up is a cabbie blazer that sold in the 40% off discount. I think I may need two hands for this. Hold on. This cabbie blazer sold for $39. It's a size 16. This is a really sharp looking blazer. I really liked it a lot when I picked it up. I think I paid $7 and change for it. This Chico's lace little cardigan jacket, really pretty. This was in that big Talbot's buyout that I did. My average cost of goods was about a dollar per item. This was part of the 40% off sale and it sold for $21 with um, discounted shipping. I have a few more things to pull, but I think that's it for Sunday night. We'll check back tomorrow morning and I'm going to help Rocco pack the car. Hello, it's Monday morning. The lights are still off over here, down here. Tina's gonna be here in about 10 minutes, so I'm trying to just get some of the sales pulled before she gets here because our mail carrier comes earlier these days. So Tina arrives at 9.30 and I wanna have stuff packed and ready to go by, I don't know, 9.45, 10? That might be pushing it, but I'm gonna grab some stuff. It gives me great pleasure to pull anything out of these boxes that are shoes and now inventory. We have to move these boxes back in, but we're gonna be doing a lot with shoes today for Slow Fashion Friday. So this is just amazing. These are men's shoes and I sold a pair of Timberlands that of course had been unlisted or in my death pile for so long. Where are they? Oh, this is the box that also has items up here. Well, before we added boxes, we were using that one tote scan. So there we go. These men's shoes are so bulky, but these sold for, I don't know, I think $50. These were Rocco's and they're in beautiful condition. And these we spent real money on, but they're so bulky. So I'm so happy they're leaving. I think this next shirt came through in the 40% off sale. This is a Lululemon shirt. Honestly, it's probably worth more than I listed it at, but it didn't have a size and I wasn't sure what the style was. Actually, I'm not even sure what this sold for, but I will pull, I will put the price up on the screen. I hate when I do this, when I'm pulling sales and they're in the same inventory box and yet I put the box back, hold on. Okay, this sold, it's just a Nike dry fit swim, Nike swim, long sleeve shirt. Uh, I think this was Rocco's and this was something that was just donated or perhaps it was the bins. Things are very blurry these days. Mom's looking for a dress to wear. That's pretty I to know. a wedding. She thinks she needs long, but. I do. I don't it's, know. It's black tie. Oh, well. I said women have more flexibility. Yeah. She's got a beautiful navy blue one she's looking at that she already has. What's this over here? You want black, Mom? Girl after my own heart. That's definitely navy because you're wearing black. That's really pretty, Mom. I think so. I think that'd be nice, like, just to... Yeah. yeah. Are you up for some light sewing? Yes. For that length? Yeah. Where's the ladies' room? They don't try. have a trial. Ah. They don't. <laughs> They don't. Not since COVID, which stinks. But I can always exchange it if you don't like it. 
It's beautiful. You can look at jewelry too. Let me see that one. That's lovely too. Will you like cap sleeve? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Now that I've gained weight, my arms aren't as saggy. <laughs> I mean, they're still saggy, no, but they're not. I am 74. That's pretty. That's very classic too. Get them both, mom, and see what you think. I don't think you'll, if you wear heels, you won't have to do as much. Is I'll need silver accessories. What do you have, gold right gold, now? I've got all gold. Or do you have like a champagne? I feel like you might be able to get away with it. That looks white. But the, the beading looks silvery. Do you want to try that one too? Yeah. I'm loving this. Hot pink suit in Calvin Klein. Brand new with tag. It is cute little mini skirt and jacket, new. I think I'm gonna grab that. All right, Mimi switched gears. She found this great little purse, which is navy. Let's see your dress. That's really pretty. I, I still think it's gonna be big on you, Mel. But I love the dress. But you know what? You have a navy one at home too. I do. So if this doesn't work, right, I have a backup. And I just found this great little Patagonia hat. It's a little discolored, but I kind of love it. I'm gonna throw it in the wash for $2.99. doesn't look very long unless it's all under the tag 24. And which one do you want to see that one for 35 there? Yeah, the real sparkly one. Yeah, yeah, on the left. Oh, we'll see. Let's look at it. All right, ma'am, we did okay. <laughs> we did okay. What this, was our total this spending? Best. This was five ninety. You need to put the pretty side oh, out. Oh, I'm sorry. Five ninety nine, and the dress was eleven ninety nine plus Minus we had twenty percent. Look at you, ready for a wedding. Ready for a wedding. You're gonna wear a your gold, bit of gold jewelry. We have oh yeah, we gotta go look for that. It's beautiful. <laughs> you did great. It's comfy too, and if it's cold, I'll be warmer. Hi boys. Hi Paul. Rock, where are you going tonight? I'm going on a concert. That's why I'm I'm here like this. I don't normally dress like this. You gonna buy a new shirt? No. <laughs> So several days have gone by and I stopped at Savers to drop off a bunch of bags to donate. And of course I had to run inside to take a peek to see if there was anything I could find to sell. I ended up not finding anything to sell, but I found a few outfits to wear to Japan. So instead of doing a traditional haul, I am going to do a little try on for you. All right, I did not find anything to sell, but I found some stuff to bring to Japan. This black dress, um, these pajamas. Um, I just I just got rid of so many and I really just want like basic pants, unpatterned. These are J. Crew. I got these for myself. I got myself a, a black v-neck t-shirt and a pair of white shorts. Um, the shorts and t-shirts are 40% off. All right, the wash is going in the background, so forgive that. I don't know. I feel like this makes me look really hippie. I like, I, not many dresses are big on me, but I feel like this is a little big. It's a, it's a torrid size one, which I'm not really even sure what that is. I liked that the pockets were in the front. I thought that would kind of serve as, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's very comfortable. It's like stretchy, comfy everywhere, but I don't know. I don't feel like it's the most flattering look on me, but it is comfy. Jay likes it, but I don't know. No one's gonna see me in Japan, right? I should, might as well be comfortable. <laughs> okay, I shut the yellow light off because it's terrible. Um, this is more my vibe, very, very basic. Just, you know, black t-shirt with white shorts. <laughs> I like this, I wanna see my, this is the vein I'm always trying to cover up, I hate it. This bag I got in Italy at the Gucci outlet and it's just super lightweight and compact in re relatively neutral, you know what I mean? So, and I can wear my Burks, I can wear sneakers, or I can wear my Teaks. I'm gonna, those are the only three pairs I'm bringing. Kind of wish these weren't so wide at the bottom. They kind of like bell out, but you know what? I never wear white. I'm not, so I'm not crazy about the bottoms here. 
I don't know, is that weird? I don't know Bermuda shorts. Yeah, I kind of, I'm so used to wearing bike shorts, like my black bike shorts. I wish these were more narrow. What are you gonna do? It's comfy. Oh, I gotta shut these lights off again, sorry. My washer is so loud. Okay, these are overalls that I thrifted. They're linen. I don't know if you can see because I'm wearing the black shirt with it. Usually I wear a white shirt, but see how cute this little bag just kind of goes with everything. This is ridiculously comfortable. But do I want to wear overalls on the plane? That could be fun. That could be fun. I don't have much variety here, folks. I need to go pick up my Mary Meko dress, which is also thrifted, but I sent it to the cleaners. But there's no red in that, so this bag might not work for that. But I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, this is the clear winner of the day. My pajamas, these are so soft. They're incredible. They're like loose down here. They have like a tie right here, which I haven't tied yet. Usually I don't wear shirts to bed. Like, I don't wear night shirts like this. I would wear this with like a tank top or a t-shirt. But this is so comfortable. These are J. Crew. A little snug around my belly. They're a size large, but the, the pants aren't snug. The top's a little snug, but oh my gosh, this wins. These were $6.29 and then 20% um, off. Would it be bad to wear these on the plane? Because <laughs> I'm very tempted. I love this. So soft. I love the navy blue and all the white trim. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. Lumpy, these are all my clothes <laughs> for travel. You want to make sure I remember you when I'm gone? Oh, you know what? He's supposed to get groomed on Tuesday. We need to reschedule. Yes, he's so cute. You guys ever seen Lumpy's underbite? It's the cutest thing ever. Well, that doesn't look very cute. <laughs> <laughs>